So before we decide what to do next, let's take a look at maybe our journal here. Well, I want to go back up and finish up the Leviathan stuff. But the communication hub might also be a good distraction here. Distraction. Communication hub. Antaram. Horizon yet again. I can't believe the sanctuary thing that they were talking about back on the Citadel. That weird safe haven place. That also makes perfect sense though. The one place you wouldn't expect them to be using. Hmm. Then I wonder if the Elkos Combine had anything to do with it. Maybe they're secretly working with Cerberus. Oh my god. That'd be horrible. Hmm. We can go back to the Citadel, hand in the Dakuna thing. Yeah, let's go to the communication hub first. Kepler Verge. If we go back to the Citadel, we might be able to talk to the counselors in person. I don't know what we'd say though. We have nothing to say right now. On to Rom. This habitable world had been living in the shadow of disaster long before the Reaper War. Its moon's orbit is decaying, causing tidal disruptions and electrical storms before its eventual collision. When humans settled on Antaram, the Asari derided it as foolish, but today the humans look prescient. The communications hub they set up on the planet has hundreds of quantum communicators, whose information is spread through broadcasts on the planet and beamed out via Kambui. While Antaram has yet to be attacked by Reaper forces, it's likely just a matter of time. I feel like up until now, we've been feeling pretty good about our fight. It's grim, but we've been slowly taking victories here and there, but now it feels like... Like I feel really, really down about our chances. Ah, <sighs> Let's see. I'll bring Javik again. And... Maybe Tally. We just gonna try this out then? Alright, let's see how it goes. And then Tally... You can have the Geth Plasma Shotgun. It's the one I upgraded the most. Is it the best? I'm not sure, but... I guess you can test it out for me. You're good. Oh, you don't have any... Mods. Can't do anything with three? This is it then. I just have three points sitting here. Hmm, because we haven't gone up at all. Combat drone or defense drone? Combat drone, I guess. Hmm, stun people. Commander Cerberus has taken one of our secret communication facilities. All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off-site. A civilian? Yes, patching her through. Miss Sato, what's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. Wow, it's so bright and sunny today. That's gotta be a first. Usually we're in some dreary, gray-looking planet. Oh god, they're already here. Miss Sato, we've landed. What are we looking at? They're trying to seize control of the three critical access points. I'm updating your nav point with the location of the terminal they're closest to cracking. We'll keep them from hacking in. Javik, combo with me. Confirm. Yeah. 
Oh god. Two hundred speed for the power recharge. I could probably get through without even shooting my gun if I really wanted to. Hold on. Commander Shepard, Cerberus shuttles are scouring the area. I think they're looking for me. They're using comms to pinpoint Sato's location. Oh no. How do we... Nothing's changed. Just upload the next set of coordinates. I... Yes, Commander. Updating your nav point. Be here in a sec. Nemesis! They've got those advanced people here. Oh! I've barely shot my gun. Oh, hello! Hey, don't touch Tally! And me and Javik are a great combo, too, biotically. Bye. We gotta slowly get over. Is that guy still here? Better not be. We're fine, we're fine. This guy there. Cerberus encryption algorithms of some sort. Oh, that was one of the fetch quests. Come on. Miss Sato, come in. Miss Sato, are you there? The human is too scared to answer. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I won't let you down. I promise. Okay, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time... Just hurry, please. I will. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it. It's very sad, but Commander Shepard being like, I will get to you, don't worry, is it doesn't hold a lot of weight after Thessia. I'm very sad to say. Come on, dude. We're here, we're here. Oh, that, oh god, that was a close one. No more. Grace? Oh, you're still alive. Where? Whoa! What are you guys doing outside? Oh, jeez, no! Nope! I think we gotta focus on just deactivating it, because people are coming left and right and they're not gonna stop. Someone's here. Commander, they've almost got the doors open. Help! Got her covered, Commander. Area cleared. Picking up Miss Sato, then heading back to the rendezvous point. Good job, Lieutenant. Ooh.
Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Misato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. Mm, glad to hear that. We can still help out somewhere. I'm sorry. Overall, I'm still very down about the whole Fessia thing. <laughs> we, we're, we're good. We're good. We do a lot of help, okay? It's one failure, but we'll make it up. The governor, the governor of the Batarian colony, has always been outspoken in the early hours of the Reaper assault, blaming the Alliance for the destruction of Batarian combuies that were, in fact, destroyed by the Reapers. Now liberated from his world, the governor has undergone a dramatic conversion. His daily extranet videos rally his formerly conservative xenophobic subjects to embrace the Citadel species as brothers and sisters in arms. Wow. Unlike many Batarian politicians, he also avoids micromanaging military affairs, content with inspirational tasks, and the logistical nightmare of providing urgently needed relief to Batarian refugees. There are still some Batarians around. Void Devil's Fighter Wing. Vorcha Fighter Pilots. Trained by human and Turian mentors. Good, good. Vorcha Labor Team. Ooh, sweet pick. The socialized Vorcha were a maintenance and calibration crew on a small scientific outpost orbiting Tyrex. Skilled labor. The Vorcha really... I feel like of all the species, they really don't have to give a crap about the whole Reaper stuff because they live such short lives. Their lifespans are like 25 years, I believe. No matter what happens, even if we do win the war, their lifespans are just a little bit too short. Communications Array. Technician Gray Sato saved a copy of the schematics for the Alliance's most advanced communications relay. She will use it to build several smaller arrays to collect crucial intel. 50. Thank you, thank you. We're very good. Wow, look at that. It's getting higher. That's always good to see. That was a smaller mission. Not sure if people around here have much to say. Commander. Let's see anyway. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since. Uh, she's only 15, so if it's children. Oh my god. Maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Hillary? Where have I heard that name before? The farm girl? The farm girl in the... The, you know, back on the Citadel, the um, Asari that had PTSD was talking about a farm girl named Hillary. Well, that was a human girl too. Was that also on Tip Tree? Oh my god. Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass for Oh my god, not this again. When we travel at FTL. Edie's going crazy. I don't know why she keeps remembering that. Everyone's secretly suffering so much here. They're trying not to show too much of it at work, especially someone like Joker, but my god, I don't... <sighs> it's insane. All of this is insane. Just got word from Ms. Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, <laughs> Mr. Vega. That I do. Who's a better pilot, Cortez or Joker? Different things? You look tired. You sleeping well? <sighs> don't ask. Don't ask, do don't need? tell. Cortez is more about the shuttles and then Joker is more about the entire ship. Hey, Commander. Hey, how are y'all doing? Are you all sleeping well? Stay. You've got a whole light show going on there. 
The Avenger, I didn't really get to try it out that much because I was mainly relying on my powers, which I guess is the point of the gun anyway, but I still want to see how it actually is, so I'll keep using it for a little bit more. Commander. Yeah. Not sure if many people will have updates this time. No regrets over fighting the Reapers on a human ship? Hey, the Normandy's design was part Turian, remember? You know what I mean. No, somebody has to keep you from giving all the Dextros a bad name. That's right. I remember you chastising me on behalf of my species for losing our homeworld to the Geth. I never said that. Would you like me to send you an audio recording? No, I hate listening to recordings of myself. My voice never comes out right. Same. Hmm. Listen, about what I said. Forget it. No, I was wrong. I was young and... I was wrong about your people. Oh, and about you. Oh, thanks. How about you? You ever mind serving on an all-human ship? It's not all human, as long as you're here. Oh. Well, these two are always talking now. Oh, I'm glad to see, during a miserable time like this, that somebody is finding the silver linings. Tally and Garrus, I remember there was that one elevator conversation. I don't remember what Tally's talking about here. Maybe I didn't see it. But there was a one about how Garrus was saying, Hey, why didn't you guys find a new homeworld so people hate you less? Which was like, okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Okay, so you talk so much with Garrus, but you don't want to talk to me? I see how it is. I see. Commander. Shepard. My board is green. It's all about the boys, huh? The Dextro Amino boys. Don't want to talk to your gals anymore. Okay, fine. Fine, Tally. Be that way. Commander. Tally and Garrus. My, uh, my crew that saw me... Uh, get busy with the consort. <laughs> what was the consort's name again? Shiala? No, Shiala... Wasn't Shiala the... The consort and the green Asari. I keep getting their names mixed up. They have really similar names, as far as I remember. Good to see you. Yeah, something like that. We should probably get back to the Citadel now. Hand in some stuff. Tell the Volus ambassador that we rescued some people on the Kuna. Take care, Commander. Hmm. It's the kind of thing, you know, it's like uh, when you're not feeling well, and then someone suddenly comes up to you and they're like, hey, how are you? And then you burst into tears because you've been holding so much back. That's sort of how I feel like right now, too. Not right now. Liara. Turning your anger and sadness into energy. At your service. Good way to be productive, but try not to work too hard. Ready for the next mission? Yeah, we gotta sleep properly, eat properly. Make sure the next time we come across Cerberus or the Reapers, we'll be ready. We've lost a lot of people, and we're not gonna let that happen again, right? No. Do we have Codex stuff? Antaram. 16 years ago, the Systems Alliance established the first dish field on Antaram, defying the tidal disruptions and electrical storms that periodically sweep across the planet. The facility has since grown into a crucial communications hub for the Alliance. Trade between the Alliance base and nearby human settlements sustains planetary unity. The Alliance also trains and hires colonists to maintain the quantum communicators, further strengthening the bond between locals and the military forces that use the comm stations. Although most of the communication relays serve the military, a coalition of Antaram's businesses have begun construction on a civilian broadcast hub. The local Alliance commander has offered the help of the military's technical experts, making Antaram a symbol of civilian and military cooperation. Good thing we saved it. Ah, uh, everything else is a battle, but oh, the fall. When it says the fall, you know shit's gone down, basically. The fall of Thessia. 
the assault on Thesia did not go as smoothly as the Reapers' strikes against the other races. While the other races met the Reapers head-on, the Asari resorted to dangerous hit-and-run tactics to harass their attackers. By engaging in guerrilla strategies, blasting a Reaper ship, then jumping to FTL, where they could not be tracked, the Asari forced the Reapers to remain on the defensive. Unfortunately, the Reapers' greater numbers allowed them to accept certain losses, so they soon ignored the attacks against them and began orbital bombardment of Thessia. This in turn forced the Asari to defend their homeworld with a more traditional stance, facing the Reaper forces directly. As soon as the Reapers landed on Thessia, the harvesting began. A swift and brutal slaughter of the Asari ground forces followed. Resistance from trained biotics barely slowed the attackers down. In the end, Thessia's minimal military forces, combined with unpreparedness in the face of an overwhelming enemy, resulted in the fall of the planet. Asari getting harvested means that maybe some... I'm sure there's Asari out there who don't even know they have Ardak Yakshi genes. So those people might end up becoming Banshees, which is really, really bad because those guys are super scary. Not good. Yeah, let's go back and... Tell the Volus ambassador the good news, hand in the ciphers, and then we'll visit Anne Bryson. The Asari. So many of them were biotics too. So they were inherently stronger than us, and yet being a biotic means nothing in the face of the Reapers. And Cerberus, apparently. Mm-hmm. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Is Miranda okay, by the way? She's doing her own thing, but I don't know how she's doing. We got your people off to Kuna, Ambassador. Utterly sincere. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. This is not a debt we can repay. Were you able to evacuate any civilians? Yes. How many? Not enough. Yeah, it's never enough. Did I say Volus Ambassador earlier? I meant Elcor, of course. Oh, we can't even go check out the counselor. She's gone. She's busy. She's got to worry about the continuity of civilization. Oh my god. But the Crucible can't be the only plan. It's the human's plan. But what about the other people? You've got... Everyone has to have their own plan too. Nothing? Come on, if I fail, somebody else has got to pick up the slack. Or do I have to do it? Do I got to stand up where I fell down and just keep trucking forward? Guess I'll get this. Kind of poor today. Can't really afford any of this, although I wanted to buy this. I wanted to, but I was saving up my money for other random stuff, so now I can't afford it. That's okay, I feel like we're pretty okay anyway. Where is the... Officer Delk? There's an Officer Delk here, Embassy Office? No, weren't you like, um... Was it the guy here? Yeah. That's like a totally different spot. The four is here. Unless if you're seeing the four encompasses this entire hallway. Your intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers. That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. Yes, Commander Shepard found some encryption algorithms. The team is expecting results soon now. Encryption algorithms, Cerberus, huh? God, at a time like this. Damn Cerberus. Good thing we don't know anybody in there, huh? Otherwise, it'll be even more painful. Refugee like, what if Miranda was still there? That'd be... Well, it would be better than fighting Kai Lang in cutscenes. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I think that might be it. Okay. Spectre status recognized. 
I want to go to the lab. Where's the nearest fast travel thing here? Maybe Presidium Commons? Maybe there's more fish. Welcome to Kanala Exports. SMG high velocity barrel. I don't really. I should try some of the SMGs. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Strike Striker Assault Rifle. This could be interesting. Any but if I keep spending money, I'm not going to be able to afford that Cerberus gun. <laughs> 10,000? Yeah, okay. Don't Buy it too. Out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. Carbine. Regar Carbine. That's enough, that's enough. Thank Thank you. Combine. Come again. I don't have that much money. We carry it. And Bryson? <sighs> Hello? Anne? You here? Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. After Edie's psych profile saying that she seems to handle stress well too. Even though on the outside, when we first saw her, she wasn't really reacting too much. But everyone... We're all the same. Of course. You alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. S so stupid. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. I'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Our last chance, quite literally. We lost the key to the catalyst, and now we pursue another lead. This flow of events sort of makes sense, too. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded and we all had regular psyche bells. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Which one is considered more powerful? The mind control thingy that Leviathan uses or indoctrination? 
Because indoctrination might be more useful in the long run. And it's more subtle. So maybe you can spread it more without people noticing, but mind control is very powerful. You just do it. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. And the artifact is not organic, it's like a piece of rock, so unless if it breaks, that will just keep on controlling people. Sorry, I boxed her in. She couldn't walk out. <laughs> so we have only this one now. Hey, Lola. Need a hand? Hey. Why are you here? What brings you down here, James? Saw what happened to Anne back at the dig site. That ain't right. Well, make yourself comfortable. Huh. Wait, did I bring you earlier? I did, right? For the dig site? Commander, you see this thing? This is great! Oh, it's terrible. Don't look at it. It'll indoctrinate you. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. Ouch. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. Edie, are you suggesting that we get somebody indoctrinated on purpose so that we can trace it? James, would you like to be our guinea pig? Ouch! <laughs> Told you to stop touching it. Hey, Edie, the husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. <laughs> Is that an actual husk head? I thought it was just like um, a model or something. How is it even alive? It's why is it staring so intently at James? Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or I don't know, whatever. Put it down in the shuttle bay. Oh my god, are you serious? Ew! What? I don't want to get indoctrinated. <laughs> All right, just don't tell anybody. Nice. She's right here. You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? Do you think I would let you? We'll think about it. We have two shuttles, right? So maybe on the other lane. And I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you, but maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. No. You have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. 
I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. But you're such an important asset, though. If anything happened to you, that's one scientist gone. We don't have that many of those around. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yours! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. We could have gotten more, but I don't want to kill her. Man. Anne. Anne, are you alright? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. To start. Commander? I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. It's mad at me. It's mad because I brought the Reapers here. Because it wants to stay hidden the whole time. Like whatever it has been doing for the past 10 years on that mining colony. Okay, we have three coordinates this time. We probably could have narrowed it down if we stopped James, but that probably wasn't worth it. We just go now? I suppose. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go, Edie. Does that mean that this time we have to search through three sets of coordinates? Anything else we gotta do here? Oh, I can't check the map. Oh, this is really scary, too, because look, there's so... <gasps> there's nothing left! There's only the priority and the DLCs. Oh my god. It makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> hmm, anyway, okay. Let's find Leviathan. <laughs>